Hi there. Today I thought I would show you Sparky Linux. Uh, this is the newest version of LXQT 5.6 and actually I'm very impressed with it. Uh, it may be on par with MX17 in many ways uh, but for different reasons. It, it's more of a there's many many settings in here uh, as there are in MX and if you don't like to tweak or experiment uh, with a distro then this particular version may not work for you uh, but as long as you're if you're aware of Debian and how to use Debian uh, you'd have no issues with this at all um, and I, I just find it amazing with all the uh, applications it comes with and and how you can uh, configure it I've just begun tinkering with it so I may do this in a part one part two uh, basis uh, so this is just a initial install uh, and I didn't even install a, a screencast app uh, it, it comes with Voco screen uh, which is running currently and it seems to work well uh, with my inexpensive mic that I have and how I have it configured so I'm very happy with it actually and I'm using this, uh, this is on a, um, uh, what do you call it, a, it's a, a micro PC, an inexpensive little a tiny PC uh, from Dell, and uh, seems to work quite well. It's got a little um, EMMC hard drive, um, and I've even configured the, uh, uh, t to use trim, the uh, uh, the terminology trim is to uh, create maintenance on a SSD, so I'm using that for the EMMC uh, drive as well. And everything seems to be working very well, so I'll try to go in more detail uh, in part two with uh, a few changes that I uh, either have made or will make. Um, but this is how it looks just uh, on the desktop, and I'll show a few of the apps here. I did actually um, I'm gonna move away from the mic so maybe I can move it a little bit so you can hear the voice better I'll face it this way um, <clears throat> okay I'm gonna just show you here the uh, I installed dead beef I installed Cody because I wanted it as a media player it comes with pulse audio of course it comes with VLC um, I did add MPV other than the VLC player for my reasons. Um, and it has ya, ya Rock, which is a uh, music player. Seems to work pretty well. I had to tinker with it uh, to configure it a little bit, but uh, initially it seems to work fine. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, <coughs> uh, it comes with, uh, uh, we'll just go into, what else do I want to show you? Actually, I want to show you the um, under LXQT settings, um, under appearance, I left the GTK2, that's the default. I left the icon theme as the ultra fat, f flat icons default. However, I changed the theme to ambience. Um, and it's all a matter of preference. I I think the, I'm not sure what the default was, it, it would either be Sparky or Sparky 5, um, but I'm playing with ambience for now and I seem to like it in that setting. Um, so you'll have a white, when you open up files and things, they'll still be in a, um, with a white, um, okay, so here's PC Man, your file manager, it'll be, have a white background, um, there's a dark panel. Um, but your uh, panel here and your start menu will be in a dark or an ambience dark theme. Um, I think for now I'll just stop. It was just kind of an introduction to this version, but I'd say I, I rate it quite highly for what it does, what it is, and um, seems to run very well. So I'll uh, elaborate in part two uh, more in detail about what you can do and how to move the panels around and probably maybe even how to trim uh, the the little uh, uh, EMC, EMMC drive that it comes that this Dell comes with 
uh, you can you'd configure it just like an SSD or you trim it just like an SSD. Um, anyway, that's it for now, and uh, thanks for watching.